Hello and welcome. I am Detoria S with your educational how-to videos in six minutes or less. I would like to thank you for joining me in my very first YouTube tutorial. This channel features how-to videos that are six minutes or less on educational tech tools. And today our featured tool is Class Dojo. Let's get it. We are going to be going through this very quickly, so feel free to pause, fast forward, or rewind as needed. We'll be looking at what is Class Dojo, what are the features of Class Dojo, and the possible classroom uses of Class Dojo. What is Class Dojo? It's a communication platform, behavior management system, and a digital portfolio. And I'm going to go over all three. ClassDojo.com is a free website slash app. I'm not going to go over how to sign up per se because it's a typical sign up. You can sign up as a teacher, parent, student, or a school leader. I will say that if you sign up as a teacher or a school leader, you need to sign up through your work email. They will not let you use a personal email because it is connected to your school directly. Now to your Class Dojo homepage. You have school analytics here. So I'm going to go to my demo class. I already have students here, but you can either click on the plus button and say that students, or you can go to the option, go to edit class where you can click on add your students there as well. So you just add students, type in their last name. The great thing about this is if I start typing students that are in my school will start to populate and so I can just click on their name and add them if I um, needed to. And that's great because parents would already be connected if they were previously in my school. So to connect my parents all I need to do is type in their email, phone number or I could click on this button to print out QR, QR codes for them to add themselves. And then I can utilize my message tab. I can message my parents directly or individually, or I can select certain parents to message. This is great. I use this for my reminders. Um, anything, any information I want to send as a whole, I use in my message tab. The great thing about the tab is it's archived. So if it needs to serve as evidence somewhere, it is there. Um, now let's go ahead and look at Class Dojo as a behavior system. Going back to my classroom tab, these little bubbles here are dojo points. In order to add or in some cases you can subtract dojo points, you are going to go back to options and edit class and your skills is where you are able to label your points at um, needs improvement you can even put no points to be taken away but it still lets parents know of the behavior that was transpiring in the classroom you can see the thing they had one warning they worked hard they were on test positive 100 percent so that is that when you want to give points you can give points to the entire class by clicking a whole class you can click select multiple and just pick a few students to add points to and that sound is the classroom regulator. When they hear that sound, things begin to change in the classroom. Also, there is a group tab where you could um, assign your guided reading groups or station um, groups and just select the group and you can award them all a point at one time. Moving on to Class Dojo as a portfolio. First, I want to talk about the Class Story tab. Class Story is where it's sort of like your, your class portfolio, where you put all of your class information. I put my homework there, uh, any photos, cool things that we're doing at school, field trip, um, forms. I post all there for all my parents to see in Class Story. Your portfolio is individualized for each student. Students are able to upload work in their own portfolio, three ways that you can have them to upload their work. You can print out this QR code. You can have, you can post this text code. It only lasts for one hour, or they're able to use their Google accounts if they have Google accounts. And that way they can post their own work inside of their portfolio. Good thing about that, you get to approve it. So if it is not of quality, you can send that back to this is an example of how your screen would look once students add assignments. 
you can see that it is organized by dates and so if you wanted to go in and grade all of them that were turned in you can do that as well parents have access to this page they're able to see the great things that your students are doing and access their portfolios I also post my report cards here a couple of cool features of class dojo you can take attendance here the random picker is awesome the timer of course you need that and it's quick and easy and they also have mindfulness videos if you practice mindfulness the toolkit I utilize from time to time it has a noise meter there I use that um, it also has calming music and um, some things where you can type in messages for the day and that's class dojo six minutes or less all right, educators, Dissoria is out. Continue to empower.